so that we can unlock the boss, but I'm not going to fight the boss until later. I'm going to be saving boss fights for when I'm done with all the other levels in each home world. But, with that said, let's head over here to Dark Hollow. Pretty interesting level with some nice music. If there's one thing this game really does well, it's setting up a nice atmosphere in each world. It's like, no matter where you are, the game just makes you feel happy, and in fact, I swear to god, this game even has healing powers, because there are times I could just be having a bad leak, and then I just sit down on like a fi Friday night and play for this entire game in one sitting. In fact, I'm probably going to do that right now, play for the entire game in one sitting. <laughs> There's no reason I can't do it. <clears throat> Alright, take these guys out. Alright, and the people f who think that the Legend of Spyro and the main Spyro trilogy have a connection, allow me to disprove your theory right now. Hi, Dad. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, That's not actually his dad, but whatever. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. So for those of you who don't know about the Legend of Spyro series, first of all, it's basically Avatar The Last Airbender. Second of all, apparently Spyro is supposed to was supposed to be the only purple dragon. <laughs> so it was a it was a reboot of the series and they did some crazy things that some people aren't going to agree with. I just don't like the games because I think they're very badly made games. I don't really care that they tried to make Spyro all super serial and whatnot, because for the most part, they kind of did a good job with that. For the most part. Spyro, want to know a secret? Use the triangle button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Alright, so, hang on a sec, okay, never mind, I thought someone was about to come interrupt me, because they're mean like that. Um, so I guess I should explain a little bit of the history behind Spyro, um, Spyro was developed by Insomniac Games, um, a still fairly young studio at the time this game was developed, um, Basically, they made a game before this, it was a first-person shooter called Disruptor that was deemed the best game that no one played in, two, in 1996. Because it had really high critical reviews, but no one played it because it was just marketed very poorly. And I think at the time, it just wasn't what gamers were looking for on the PlayStation, I guess? I don't know. So it was a commercial flop, and then Insomniac decided they wanted to turn around and make something a bit less gritty and more happy. Something that quote unquote their grandmother would, would, would play. <laughs> and that's where Spyro basically came from. So Insomniac made three Spyro games and eventually said, you know what, we're just not going to make any more because we just don't think there's much, very much more we can do with this game, with Spyro as a character, and went on to make Direction and Clank games, but meanwhile, a thing a lot of people actually don't realize about this game is that this game was not fully published by Sony, it was co-published by Sony and, you know, in, in cooperation with Universal Interactive. So basically, Universal Interactive are the ones who actually own the rights to Spyro. And after Insomniac said they weren't going to make any more Spyro games, Universal decided to take Spyro into their own, ha own hands, and because of that, Spyro went from being a PlayStation exclusive to being multi-platform and developed by whatever developer Universal would hire to make another Spyro game. And, um, well, let's just say things just didn't turn out too well after that. Except for maybe one game in the series being Spyro Hero's Tale, but everything else was kind of a train wreck up until they made the Skylanders games. Which technically aren't Spyro games, they, they just have Spyro in them to, I guess, I guess Spyro's just their, their most marketable platforming character. 
He's not very marketable anymore, but whatever. Darius. Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged, but a quick flame, that should defeat them. And there's another running joke in this game, um, our enemies are, call are called Norks, but a lot of the time the dragons and other characters will mispronounce their names as good Norks. But in all honesty, I can see a lot of other people making that mistake. You know, I see people who let's play this game who don't really know much about the game as a whole will say, good nasty, good nork, and I'm like, dude, it's nasty nork. R research this crap. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's that level cleared out. Once you're done, you can pretty much just pause the game and select exit level. Because there's no real need to waste your time going back to the exit, especially later on when the worlds just get much bigger. Like right now, they're still fairly compact, but later on, we're going to get much, much bigger worlds. Anyways, we have one more subworld to do before we go tackle the boss fight. <clears throat> and I really like the music in this level. In fact, I really just flat out love the music in the entire Spyro trilogy. The music in the original Spyro trilogy and um, the the fourth game, Enter the Dragonfly, which we're not going to talk about anymore. The music in those games was composed by Stuart Copeland, who you may know as a drummer in the band called The Police, and he also did a lot of, I believe he does other video games, he's done a lot of TV show music. And keep in mind what I said earlier about TV, and keep in mind what I just said about TV show music for later, for a later level. Nils. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin How's Elka doing? By gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. <coughs> now, despite the fact that this game uses L2 and R2 for its camera control, the camera, in my opinion, still works very well. It's a bit slow here. Actually, let me see something. Active camera, pl please and thank you. Alright, so active camera makes things a bit faster and will also keep better track of your movement. <laughs> so, you pretty much turn that on immediately as you start playing the game. But yeah, while this game has left analog stick support for movement, it doesn't have right analog stick support for its camera. And I'm not sure why, and the other two games didn't have that either. Which is kind of a disappointment, really, but whatever. <laughs> um, you know. <laughs> it doesn't bother me that much that this game still uses the um, L2 and R2 buttons, because it works just fine. I don't have any problems with it at all. Devlin. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? All right. But yeah, I've mentioned before. I, I've mentioned earlier. The music really helps with the atmosphere of the game, and just makes everything all happy. <laughs> just all fun and happy in the game, and I love that. It's also just very catchy. Like, sometimes if I'm just having a bad day, I'll listen to the music from Spyro on my phone. And it'll typically just make me feel a lot better. <laughs> it's funny, because I know some people have said that they actually don't like the music in this game, but really, I can't find any wrong with this music at all and it only gets better from here actually Spyro 2 and 3 have great soundtracks Alvar 
and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run! <laughs> run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. Alright, I really need to make sure I don't talk so much when I free the dragons because there's no subtitles in this game. So, those of you who haven't played this game before might want to know what some of them are saying. Of course, some of them just say, thank you for releasing me, and whatnot. Alright, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, that guy's pretty annoying if you happen to miss him right there, because he'll basically run all the way over here, and then, like, jump down there, and if you jump down there to try and catch him, he pretty much just runs right back over here to the start, and you have to chase him again, so it's kind of annoying. <laughs> do, 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 do. One thing I should note about the backgrounds, you'll see these backgrounds repeated a lot throughout the games, but, um, yeah. I used to think they looked nice, like, 10, 10 or so years ago, whenever I first played Spyro 3, way back on the PS1. <laughs> but of course, nowadays, you can obviously tell they're just painted on backgrounds. That should be everything. Yep. <laughs> Four. Thank you for releasing me. Well, that's that's not what I was expecting, but whatever. Should we do something here? Nah. All right. So now that all all the other levels are cleared in this first hub home world. Let's go ahead and take out and take on the boss. Quote unquote boss. <laughs> I love the I just love the noises that the enemies make. I, I think that whoever recorded the voices for the enemies in this game must have had a big field day. And another thing I should notice is that a majority of the I should point out <laughs> Is that the majority of the dragons in this game are voiced by Clancy Brown, and I think that's pretty interesting because Clancy Brown was also the voice of Neo Cortex and Crash Bandicoot, among other things. All right, and you can also re replay any dragon you want to at any time. Do that again. The artisan's if you stand on their pedestal. Behind me, you can challenge him now if you feel you are ready. Uh, there's a couple who actually change what they say sometimes. Like, for example, we've opened up this portal now, so... That dragon says something different if you free- if you happen to free him after completing a world. But anyways, time to go face Toasty. The Mystical Tostada. Guacamelee. I played a bit of that game, it was pretty fun. Alright, so attack it with these dog guys is to basically just, you don't want to get close to them, but what? But if you flame them, they'll try to counterattack you, so just flame them, jump, and flame again. Oh, oof! <laughs> well, there's another way to beat them, just flame them while they're on top of you. <laughs> you know, whatever works. You can do things the glitchy way if you want to. Speaking of the glitchy way... Spyro 2 is going to be the greatest let's play ever. Just saying. Wait until we get there. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of fun. Like, I'm going to do everything I can to make that the greatest series of videos on YouTube ever. And of course I'm exaggerating because I'm still a mediocre let's player at this point. Let's all be honest, but... <laughs> I'll do my best, it's going to be fun. <laughs> Alright then. I love the music in this level, actually. <clears throat> it's actually fun if you try and get to the boss before the music really picks up. But, you know, I had to slow down to teach you a few things. Nothing. 
Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, <coughs> Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. I right, think from now on I'm gonna try and do that epic trailer voice every time I free a dragon. You know, be like, Nevin. Or something like that. But then again, that might hurt my throat. <laughs> I had that idea actually when I was playing Spyro Free a couple of weeks ago. Alright. Well, hello. What you gonna do, man? <laughs> Alright, kinda just ruined the surprise of this boss fight, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Freaking hilarious, man. <laughs> and he will attack you if you get close enough, so don't fool around. But anyways, there's all his gems, and get these gems over here. And that's it. Use the exit because I actually kind of feel like using the exit. Da, 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 da. All right, and that's it. The entire artisan home world cleared. So I believe, after I save, the next video that you see should be as soon as I get there. Da, 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 here we go. Well done, Spyro. I didn't think you could do it. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you if you like. All right. So in the next video, we will we will be taking on the Peacekeeper's world. See you then.